do it. All right, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to The Last of Us. Although this is going to be, I believe, quite a different experience than what we've been doing over the past several days playing the game in the single-player campaign. Today we're actually going to check out the multiplayer gameplay, which is called Factions. I have not even booted this yet, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm going to be playing with people, uh, fans or whatever. I would like to try, but I have no idea how the matchmaking even works. We're about to find out, okay? So here we go, Factions. Connecting. The online play is subject to the Last of Us terms of use. Of course it is. Whoa. The volume is loud as fuck. What the hell? It's been 20 years since the outbreak. Factions fight over territory, supplies, and lives to grow their size and influence. Their safety in numbers. Each faction is trying to rebuild its population by finding supplies. So we've got two factions. The Hunters and the Fireflies. Let's read them here. Hunters. Survivors of a fallen quarantine zone. Use do-it-yourself tactics. The concept of survival of the fittest rules any resemblance of structure. Show an extreme loyalty to the group. Willing to kill anyone trying to grab their territory or resources. Looking for numbers to help fight off other factions and scavenge your resources. And it says your faction choice lasts until your clan dies or survives long enough to win. Now we got the Fireflies. Organized militia group. Kicked out of the last remaining quarantine zones due to their political beliefs. Wants to recruit anyone who's willing to fight for their cause. Believe there is a cure to be found and will do anything to keep the belief alive. Anything or anyone in the way of their cause will not be tolerated. Well, I'm a hunter, son of a... Yeah, you son of a bitch, that's right. I'm a badass. Alright, so the parts you earn in game are converted to supplies. You can also pick them off dead enemy players. Populate your clan with friends' Facebook names? What the fuck? What? No, I'm not connecting to Facebook. Oh, I have 5,000 Facebook friends. Do you really think that would even load in the game? It would probably crash it. Oh. Alright, so five survivors. Healthy five, hungry zero, six, zero. Need it per day, nine. What is this? Supply raid. Kill off the entire enemy team to win. Survivors. Eliminate all enemies to win the round. No respawns. And now I have gear because I actually have the, the... I bought the collector's edition of the game, okay? So I have some bonuses. I just don't know what they are. You have a limited number of loadout points to spend. Spend these points on survival skills, firearms, and purchasables. Unlock more loadout points by earning supplies. So, I can use the revolver or the pistol. I can't use a large firearm. Oh, no. I can use... Uh, Ten loadout points. Hunting rifle or semi-automatic rifle? Let's do the semi-auto. We've got Explosion Expert and Hawkeye. Look at this. Marks last three seconds longer. We can mark them. Mark enemies. First aid training. Use health kits 75% faster? Holy shit, that's good. Taking that one, definitely. I got six loadout points left. Zoom in while aiming a 9mm revolver. Revive 30% faster. Start with a shiv on each spawn. Craft faster. Scope sway reduced by 25%. Damage wobble reduced by 20%. Sprint longer. Let's do that. I think I might do sharpshooter too. And I have three left. I can buy the shotgun. Look at that. I did it. So I have a shotgun too. I have a revolver, a semi-automatic rifle, and a shotgun. So this is my loadout. Okay. It's custom loadout one. That's what I'll be using. What's one-use boosters? One-use boosters can only be used in one match. Earn them by growing your clan population. I have nothing right now because I haven't played online. All right, so it looks like I can invite people, right? If I press start, there are no messages. What the fuck? How does this work? See, this is what I mean. This is why I hate the PlayStation 3 for online gameplay. What the fuck do I do here to make a, a fucking room and play the game? How do I do this? I 
I have to add people to my friends list. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Come on. Well, let's pick a mode. Let's try supply raid. Private match. So I made a private match, okay? Now how the fuck do I do this stupid thing? Oh, fuck me. Subtitles on, gore on. Let's read the online user agreement. Alright, here we go. So my girlfriend's online. She's actually playing the game in single player right now. And then we've got about a couple people who've been on my friends list. Some of which I don't even know. Who the fuck's Triple Maniac and Junktile? I don't know who these people are. So what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, we're going to have to dick around here. <laughs> Unreal. We're going to have to go over to friends. Guess what we're going to have to do? That's right. All these friend requests, I'm going to have to fucking delete. So that I can send friend requests, unreal, and get people into the room so we can play. Because the PlayStation doesn't allow you to easily do stuff like this like the Xbox does. Because the PlayStation was designed for fucking autistic people. I don't know what they were thinking. Hopefully the PlayStation 4 fixes this. They've already announced that hopefully the PlayStation 4 will fix this issue. That's going to be a much easier friend system. There's going to be cross-game chat. I'm hoping that also means... That the fucking has... You can invite people to your fucking game without adding them to your goddamn friends list. So fucking stupid. Look at this. I have to delete a bunch of people. Oh my god. Alright. Other people are saying, just delete the inbox. Guess what? You can't. I've talked about this years ago. You cannot delete all friend requests. There's no way on the PlayStation 3... To delete all friend requests. Just like there's no way on the Xbox 360 to delete all friend requests. It's a completely stupid fucking system. There's also no way to make it so that people can't send you random friend requests. Basically, when they designed these, these, this generation of consoles, they didn't realize there would be people who like are on YouTube and on the internet who are personalities and who people like to watch. And that their gamer tags would be public. So they didn't plan for this, and anyone can do whatever they want, including fucking sending you 5,000 friend requests, filling your fucking inbox. So stupid. Okay? So, that being said, I've deleted a bunch of people now. So what I'm going to say is, uh, I know there was Lord Dark Soul, there was also that Lincoln Simpson, and a few other people in the stream chat who wanted to play with me. You can tell me what the hell your names are here. I can definitely send you a, a friend request, or you can send me one and I can accept it. Uh, and we could go do it that way. Lincoln Sims. All right, dude, just send me, just send me a friend request. All right, because I gotta delete all these. I'm gonna be here for fucking a, an hour doing this. <laughs> so it's fucking stupid. This is so stupid. I only have an hour and a half to play and I gotta bother doing this nonsense. Oh my god. I don't even, it doesn't even sort. That's the thing. Look, look how many I have. So I don't even know, like, what are the latest ones? I don't even know. Oh, Larry Lord's playing The Last of Us too. I don't know, who's Two Blood? I don't even know who this is. Why is he on my friends list? I don't know. Who are these people? So, it doesn't sort them at all. It just puts them into alphabetical order. But I get the feeling that newer ones might appear at the top of the list. I don't know. I'm into the J's. I guess we could do a raffle in the stream chat to try to get this set up. Press square to sort. Nope. Doesn't work. Alright, so I guess I'll stop the direct capture for now. And I'll set this up so we can actually have people in the damn lobby so we can play. And we'll go from there. <laughs> 